So we've got a question from Samuel who asks, how did Saturn get its rings? And it's a really good question because again, it's really hard for us to work that out. We know the rings are there today, but figuring out how they got there is a whole other challenge. There have been a few different ideas people have put forward in the past about how the rings formed. Some of them suggested that the rings are very, very old and Saturn's always had those beautiful rings. And maybe that they're left behind from when the planet formed. Others suggest that the rings are much younger and that they formed more recently. And at the moment, we're starting to come down on this later idea, the idea that the rings are relatively new. The reason for that is that it looks like the rings are gradually being whittled away. They're gradually thinning out as time goes by. You see, the rings are made of lots and lots of ice and dust. Everything from size of grains of dust up to boulders, up to things the size of your house, all moving around Saturn in a disk that's as thin as a sheet of paper. If you drew it on a sheet of paper, you'd be pretty much bang on. Very thin, very wide. So how did Saturn's rings form? Well, the current best idea is that Saturn had a moon that has been destroyed. Maybe it got too close to Saturn and was pulled apart by Saturn's gravity, or maybe there was a collision between two moons that smashed them into pieces. And the rings that we see today are the debris left behind from the destruction of that moon. But there's a bit more to it than that because Saturn's rings are also slightly being topped up with new material. There's a moon of Saturn's called Enceladus, which we know has geysers that erupt from the surface, ejecting water from the interior of that moon. And that ice is ejected into the Saturn system and tops up the rings. So the rings are not a fixing, but rather they're continually in motion, continually evolving. And it might be that if you came back in a hundred million years time, they'd have disappeared entirely. So we're very lucky to live when we do, to see the rings as spectacularly as we see them.